Hello, everybody. My name is Corey O'Connor, and I'm a product manager at Google. Um, we've got a pretty exciting announcement today, uh, both for the uh, big data community, the NoSQL community, and for Google. So let's get started. Uh, the story begins with uh, Google's mission statement, which is to organize the world's information and to make it universally accessible and useful. Um, Google at heart is a data-driven company. If you look at our products and services, they're anchored in a, in a deep understanding of what's going on in the world around us um, in, in real time. But we had a problem in 2002, and, and that was that uh, the tools that existed were just not up to the task to help us make uh, the data relevant, help us analyze it in the way we wanted to. Uh, luckily, we had some fairly intelligent people working for us at the time. Um, now, in the audience, if you guys could raise your hands if you know uh, who either, either one of these are. All right, that was, that was a bit less than I was expecting, but uh, this is Jeff Dean and Sanjay Gemawat, and they were put on the, on, the, on the projects to try to build systems that could make sense of all this data. Um, the, the technologies they created and the, the white papers that these guys wrote um, really formed what I like to think of as the big bang of big data, uh, both inside Google and outside. Um, at, at Strata, many of the talks that we're going to hear today, the talks that you've heard, uh, are based on systems that, that come directly from these people's white papers that are inspired by these white papers. Uh, but I'd like to talk about, obviously, uh, Bigtable today. So outside Google, Bigtable was the inspiration for this whole class of NoSQL uh, wide column databases, uh, projects we know and love, as you can see up there. Um, and additionally, inside uh, uh, Google, Bigtable is Big Table is an institution. It's, it's this foundational database. Uh, many of our most prop popular products and services are built on top of Big Table. And Big Table's gone through many iterations in its life cycle, focusing on stability, scalability, uh, performance speed, and on and on and on. Um, and I'm excited to actually share with you the next iteration of Big Table. So we are launching, as of today, Google Cloud Big Table, which is a fully managed no SQL database as a service on Google Cloud Platform. Um, and this is going to go within the storage portfolio. And because we have such a great relationship with the open source community, we are actually launching Google Cloud, uh, Google Cloud Bigtable through the open source Apache HBase API. And that, what that means is for you developers in the audience, um, if you're familiar with HBase, if you've worked with HBase before, you're going to feel right at home developing against Bigtable. It's got the same semantics, the same API. I mean, it's identical, right, through the, through the interface. And for organizations and businesses who have existing HBase deploys, either on-prem or in the cloud, um, it's going to be very easy to make those transitions to Google Cloud Bigtable to take advantage of these great features. Now, because it sits on Google's core Bigtable technology, we're able to realize some pretty impressive performance. So what you're seeing up there is twice the price performance of any competing offering on the cloud right now in, in, in the, the same database class. Um, as well, at the same time, um, it gets single-digit millisecond latencies. I believe you're seeing six millisecond latencies for both read and write at the 99th percentile. So if you take the performance and you, you add the latency to it, and then you say, um, you know, it's fully managed, so that's very easy to manage. It's to scale, you know, click button to spin up. Um, and you take it uh, and, and realize that we can deliver this at Google scale, which is extremely large, extremely large databases. It becomes very, very compelling. So the use cases we think uh, for, for Cloud Big Table, where it's going to be especially um, useful, are uh, industries like telecommunications, financial services, um, energy, obviously financial and ad tech. That's probably not a surprise. Um, but basically, anywhere where organizations have to deal with very, very large data sets moving very, very quickly um, and trying to make that relevant, trying to you know, get these insights in real time. All right, why does this matter? What is the TLDR? Like, give me a thread, Corey. Um, so the way I think about it is this. Google built Bigtable to solve its big data problems, to, to be able to make huge data sets um, moving very fast, be able to make it meaningful for the business. And I think what this product means is that Google is doing that now for all of the other businesses. We're giving these tools out so that, so that other companies can realize their own data mission and, and can you know, uh, basically build systems on top of this. Uh, to learn more, we're going to have a bunch of different follow-up sessions you can get engaged in. Uh, one, visit cloud.google.com bigtable. That was launched today. Uh, we have a Google Cloud Platform booth. Please go and visit that. 
Uh, additionally, uh, we're going to do a breakout session. I'm going to be talking with Amre Baran, CTO of Qubit, about his experiences on Bigtable and HBase and Google Cloud Bigtable. And uh, if that weren't all, uh, I'm going to be doing an office hours later, so come and say hi and, and feel free to ask questions. Thank you very much. <laughs>